one of the most feared numbers in NFL football history. Why? Because of this guy. You don't want to see this guy coming at you. But we will. My favorite tops defensive cards, either they are my favorites or they are in great condition. Rookie Charlie Waters. Rookie Bill Berge and rookie Lamar Parrish. Most all of these guys are Hall of Famers or else just really cool cars like the Walter Johnson. There's Mr. Butkus. Have a matching 3D for that. Can't have a defensive show without Mean Joe Green. I've shown you his Kellogg's 3D card. Anybody else's Joe Green card have that kind of smudge on it? I've seen it before. I know Jim Otto's not defense, but he's a lineman, so I throw them in there. One of my favorite defensive players, Claude Humphrey. I have the 3D for that. I have a lot of his cards. Bunch of rookies on this page. Yep, it's going to start to get real purple here in a minute. Rookie Allen Page. Rookie Ron Yeri. I believe that's a rookie Gary Larson. One of the purple people eaters you don't really hear about. So rookie Bill Bradley there on the bottom. Rookie Rich Jackson. And one of my favorite Gene Hickerson cards. Actually, the Joe Jones is pretty nice, too. We'll finish it off with a bunch of rookies, Hall of Fame rookies, except for Phil Villapiano. He's, I don't believe he's in the Hall of Fame. Sorry for the shakiness. Once upon a time, I had his autograph in person after a Raider game, 1972. Not too many of my 71 tops look this nice. My rookie, Ron Yeri. Another great shot of a quarterback getting killed. 74 had some great photos. Nice close-ups. We'll finish this episode up with some rounded corners on a Tombstone Jackson rookie card. Nice pose. Great colors. They had a great helmet back then also. These are the defensive players I have in a box, not in a binder, not in top loaders. About those pants, he's not even wearing football pants. He looks like he's going to the disco. Fred Dreyer, AKA the Hunter. Any of you know he had a TV show? He was a detective. They call him the Mad Stork. It's a forest blue with some factory defects on it. Otherwise, killer card. Here's a tie-in with my dad's collection. Charlie Kruger. He's in one of my dad's Souvenir programs. Beverage time. George Coons, very underrated. A 
or badly with the looks like a coffee stain got on a few of my cowboys cards i wasn't drinking coffee in the 70s but my mom and dad were so somehow it looked like coffee on herb Adderley. couple of legendary chiefs for good and for bad this goes out to my pal Frenchie Roger Worley Roger Worley the great Larry Wilson out of Utah Hall of Famer if it wasn't for this monster and a couple other linemen OJ wouldn't have had the record you need Hall of Famers like rookie Joe DeLom Lure that's what got OJ his record. This is Walt Patolsky, first pick in the draft for 1972. A rookie, Mike Reed. Nice hair. And we'll finish off today's episode of My Childhood Card Collection with a couple of greats, all time greats. This is what I was talking about with my buddy, Vintage Card Steve. You put a card in a top loader and a penny sleeve. Each time you put, put it in a piece of plastic, you lose a little bit of color. Peace.